actually use two types of training collars. We use a remote collar. This is one of the pieces to a two-piece set. And this is the prong collar. Um, yeah, the, these look a little barbaric, but they're not. I am going to show you how to use them and why I love them so much. The reason why I love this collar so much, it's because it's a very clear communication device. It's actually very gentle and very, very humane. Now that I've brought you in a little bit closer, I'm going to show you the details on the prong collar. This is the biggest size, the three millimeter one, 3.00. Herm Springer marked right on the collar. This one has a quick release, which I don't um, particularly like, but these are good for uh, people who have trouble with their hands, maybe older, arthritis, etc., or don't, or if you don't have uh, strength or a good grip in your hands. The reason that they call it a pinch collar is because you do have to pinch in order to get these links out. That's why they call it the pinch collar. There's a pinching um, action here that you will have to do to get this correctly on and off. This one is the 2.25 millimeter size, most common size that is used. Now, there is also a micro size, which fits uh, on dogs that are five pounds and below, okay, and about a nine inch neck. I'm going to be uh, including the links of where you can purchase these collars. There are actually several places that you can purchase them from. The little one for the little guys under five pounds, uh, you can get on pawmark.com, even learberg.com, and I will be posting the links. The Herm Springer uh, manufacturer also does have a website. These are Herm Springer collars. The micro one for the five pound and under are not Herm Springer. These are not the same as the ones that you find in your um, uh, you know, your, your pet store. They're not available locally. The reason why these are better than the ones at the pet store is because they are very smooth. The rounded tips, if you can see them here, are very, very smooth. They will not hurt you. They're actually very gentle. And I'm going to compare this collar to a flat buckle collar. A flat buckle collar will lay right on top of the dog's trachea. So when the dog is pulling, you get the out of breath choking action. The way the prong collar sits right behind the dog's ear, it's not on the trachea. So when you have your flat buckle collar and you have your prong collar, the prong collar is up at the top. You see this swivel portion here? That is where you are going to attach your leash. Prong collar has a dead ring. This side of the prong collar, or this ring on this collar, will be against the dog's skin, against the dog's neck. So, to take this off, you will take your finger, push up, and pinch up on these two at the same time. Me personally, I'm able to pinch, line it up with these two holes here, and put it right in. If you try to take this collar and put it in from all the way up here, or one prong in first, you run the risk of putting this collar on wrong. Right now, if you can tell here on the camera, it's crooked, it's on wrong. What happens with this? If you're out walking your dog and this pops off, you're gonna lose your dog, aren't you? So you wanna make sure that you're lining it up correctly and you're putting that in and all of them are lined up. Sometimes our vision will fool us and we don't see it. So there's a safety um, action that you this can carabiner use. will be your 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 safety uh, backup. So if you have a flat buckle collar on your dog, that'll go there, and this will go attached to that dead ring. 
and I'm going to show you that today. So that way, if this pops off because you made a boo-boo, right, you're still attached to your dog via the flat buckle collar. So here for long hair dogs, you want to take it, shimmy it in the hair. That's a great fit. If you're able to put the collar over the head, it's too big. And with puppies, you can use the Hermspringer collar uh, when the puppy's four months, 16 weeks or above. You should really be getting them dressed. What I mean by dress is donning the collars on in the crate. So when you've opened up that crate, this is when you want to be doing this. So here we are going to show you the prong collar. As you know, these are removable so you can size the collar. If you get it off of the Springer website or from Amazon, um, it will come with a tag like this with the manufacturer name on that. Also on the collar, the manufacturer name is on there as well. Springer. Yes. When you're fitting the prong collar on the dog, when you're putting it on, you do not want to put it over the dog's head. It shouldn't fit. See? It should not fit. If it does, it's too big. So what you do, that pinching action that I showed you earlier in the video, put it on, and let's say that bevel isn't where you want it to be, you can remove the collar up around. Now, if it's, if it's, you'll know if it's too big if this collar slides easily. Right here, it's taking the skin with it, you know, this area, and it's not sliding easy. I have to work it a little. And you should be able to fit two fingers, couple fingers, right underneath the actual prong. So the pointy part on the collar, you should be able to put two fingers under it. Not the space, the actual prong. Because there's spaces in between the prong. Okay? So that way you have a good fit. It'll fit nice and high right underneath the ear. Medium or short hair, you can also shimmy it like I showed you. And if you're using a remote collar, slide that up nice and high. And that can hold the um, prong collar for you as well. Alright guys?